going to read Papa, Please Get the Moon for Me from Eric Carle. This used to be my daughter's favorite book. Before Monica went to bed, she looked out of her window and saw the moon. And the moon looked so near. I wish I could play with the moon, she thought. And she reached out for it, trying to grab it. But no matter how much she stretched, she could not touch that moon. Papa, said Monica to her father, please get the moon for me. Wow, what's this? So, Papa got a very, very big ladder. Look at that. And he carried it a very long ladder towards a very high mountain. Look at that. Look at him carrying that. Then Papa put the very long ladder on top of a very high mountain. Wow, that's hot. It was really high. Oh my, look at this. Finally, Papa got to the moon. My daughter Monica would like to play with you, said Papa, but you are much too big. Every night, I'll get a little bit smaller, said the moon, and when I am just the right size, you can take me with you. Wow. That's crazy. And indeed, the moon got smaller. It got smaller and smaller and smaller still. When the moon was just the right size, Papa took it. Down, down, down he climbed. Can you see Papa on that ladder? Look at him right there. Wow, that's a long way. Here, said Papa to Monica, I have the moon for you. And Monica jumped around and danced around with the moon. She hugged the moon and she threw it in the air. But soon, the moon kept getting smaller and smaller and smaller. And finally, it disappeared all together. Look at her right there. She's like, where'd it go? What happened? Then one night, Monica saw a thin sliver of the moon reappear in the sky. Can you see that? Wow. There it is. And each night, the moon grew. See, it's even bigger than before. And it grew, and it grew. Until it is a full moon. It's full again. How'd that happen? That was magic. The end. <laughs>